Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to the Comedy Cellar Nightly Show. My name is Dave Juskow. It is 6 o'clock on Tuesday in the month of May. And hopefully the weather is going to get nice, and we're going to get into the summer, and everything is going to be awesome. Because, as you know, from January to May, it sucks living here in New York City. But then once May, about 15th, comes around, everything kind of gets nice. And it's time for the summer, and it's a good time for everybody. Everybody gets really excited. And uh, I know I'm excited. So it's good to have everybody here. Remember, this is the Comedy Cellar Nightly Show, and we are here to promote the Comedy Cellar, the greatness of what is the Comedy Cellar, the greatest comedy club in the world. And if you were here today in the West Village, where the Comedy Cellar is located, you would get to see one of the worst comics ever, Rachel Feinstein. I mean, just I don't know why they let her in. But she's here if for some reason you want to hear about, oh, my husband's a firefighter and I'm so great. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. And uh, and also Lenny Marcus is here. And uh, if you want to hear like, you know what I hate? I hate Subway. <laughs> but we, we love them both. And they're both <laughs> friends of the show. And they are here this evening. If you happen to be here, if you're in Las Vegas, you can see our friend Mark Cohen or Mark Coco Cohen, as we call him. And he's one of the greatest, greatest comedians of our time. If you like that kind of humor. And if you like me, you're going to like Mark Cohen. Because we use the same material for the past 40 years. So it seems like you people get it. Uh, and, and if you like the same material over and over again, then you're going to love Mark. Anyway, uh, the, the comedy show is great. Nine shows a week. We got I got a show coming up May 15th right here in the West Village. Don't forget, that's exciting. But here we are today, me and Mike, and my guest today is my friend, my very good friend, who I love so much, my friend Tiffany Collado. Do you still go by that name? I know you were married for a while, and then you weren't married, and then you get married, and then I don't know what's happening. Good for you, because you know how much that sucks, changing name? You know how stupid you look when you're on TV? And you change your name. I'm talking to you, Courtney Cox Arquette. <laughs> and then you don't. Or I'm talking to you, Kelly Cuco. You dumb. So I, I was so angry when she cut her hair. No, and um, and yeah, oh, my God. It was awful. Everybody hated it. Ruined the sanctity of the show. And I wrote an article about it for the Huffington Post. Uh -huh. And the woman that edits it was, we're not printing this. And I'm like, well, but you're ruining the, the, it ruins the fantasy of the show. It's supposed to be this girl with this beautiful hair. And yeah. it's like, it. the show is for nerds and geeks and you know, if she cuts her hair and gets married, it's, it, you're kind of ruining the fun. But she's married in real life. I'm like, it doesn't matter. It ruins the whole fantasy, let alone I knew that marriage wasn't going to last. That's why I said, I'm like, she's already having problems. And you change your name in the show. You look stupid. Ten years from now, when it's season eight, and they're like, why'd you cut your hair? Why'd you change your name? And just like Courtney Cox looks stupid, and it says Courtney Cox Arquette. And if you remember, of the first season of that show, after she got married, they called everybody Arquette. Okay. And now it all looks stupid. I think they get along now, but for a while they hated each other. So then she's sitting there going like, what the hell? Let alone in this day and age, I mean, as a woman, you should not have to change your name, right? You're professional. I guess you're just trying to say I'm smarter than them. You are smarter than them. That's what I'm saying. But yeah. I remember in 1986, before you were born, um, just stick with it. Uh, I told my girlfriend at the time, She's like, her name was Maureen Brooks. That's right. And that's a great last name. And she goes, I just want you to know, I'm not changing my name if we get married. And I'm like, I did, wouldn't have even given that a second thought. Who would want to be Just Cow? You know? <laughs> I mean, that's not like the worst name. But my stage name used to be A. Hitler. It was Alan Hitler. <laughs> not Adolf. That would be stupid. But my, <laughs> my, my maiden name, my parents' original name was Hitler. We only disguised ourselves as Jews to make it look it was kind of like in blazing saddles where harvey corman comes out of the bathroom with the pie in his face yeah. but it's make makeup so he can blend in yeah. it's like that we okay. just did that you know after the holiday i don't know what the hell i'm talking about where i got <laughs> I into what you're talking about. i don't know you look amazing no one does <laughs> that's the show i didn't say nothing anti <laughs> why not <laughs> just anonymous well, I had a girlfriend uh here we go let's see uh we have the chat room a week late my uh nie my niece isn't graduating this month catalina nice to see you anonymous angela hello is aunt judy here too did i see that also you remember yeah. aunt judy right yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> aunt judy's here 
Aunt Judy, how's your garage doing? Did you, did you hear the new news that uh, somebody came in and cleaned their car and took off and she called the police again? And like, somebody washed our car and then we and then we called the cops <laughs> and then they took off. <laughs> I, I wish I was kidding. Hi, Marcy. Nice to see everybody. Meet my friend Tiffany. She's terrific. We've known each other for a long time now. Yeah, since 2012. You look exactly the same. Thank you. Well, you were really young when I met you. Now you must be uh, in your 60s. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm a vampire. <laughs> um, no, you look really good. Oh, shut up, Anonymous. We know Billy Joel did Los Angelinos. Huh. I know. I'm just saying, I know you weren't saying that to me. It's getting in my crow because, you know, I do a Billy Joel podcast. So I do it with this. I did. Oh. Um. So I, I I usually turn my I hate getting text during the show because I'm I, it throws my concentration. But I needed to read the chat, so I can't. Um. I usually put it in airplane mode. Anyway, um, where was I? Do you remember? Billy Joel. Tom. Thank you. Uh. So Alon calls me Mike on Sunday night, and he goes, "Hey." or Tuesday. And he goes, Hey, right after the show last week. And he goes, Billy Joel had to move his schedule because the devil's Rangers yeah, yeah. and uh, the devils. Um, and, uh, shut up. You live in Jersey now. So you better appreciate the devils. You better not. Well, now you, now you look stupid liking the Rangers. Um, yeah, that's true. Um, so Alon calls me, he says, I bet you the tickets will be really cheap. We should think about going Tuesday. And I'm kind of fed up with going. I've gone three times where a guy plays the same songs all the time. So Alon goes, hey, I found tickets for like 40 bucks. You, me, and Sarah should go. That's his wife. Yeah. And I'm like, eh, I don't want to go. Eh. He's like, what if he plays a rarity that he never has played before? Turns out he plays a song he hasn't played in 41 years, which is Los Angelinos, really? which is Alon's ironically favorite song. Really? And now I feel like a complete asshole. And you didn't go. Did not go. And it's all my fault. And oh yeah, I'm talking to the mic. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we want to hear all the you know podcast gold yeah. that you're giving off. Right. <laughs> well, anyway, Aww. that's that story. But uh, Tiffany, work. Can I tell you say where you work? Yeah. 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 Tiffany works now. I didn't meet her like this, but <laughs> she got a job at the MTA. Yeah. Which is so hilarious, only because. <laughs> When you say that, I just assumed you were going to work in the offices or something. But no, I mean, maybe she does now. Yeah. But when she got this job, folks, I mean, most of you don't live in New York City. This one got a job working at the, the fucking booth, you know, <laughs> yeah. handing out tokens. I mean, it, it, I didn't really know they tokens, Metro car. I know, yeah, but uh, yeah, I didn't know they put, first of all, pretty girls uh, into the token booth yeah. or quite frankly, women. Uh, like I just, you know, it because it, it seems yeah. a little dangerous. No, I lied on the test. They said I am ugly. <laughs> Please hire <laughs> me. Um, and you used to work at the goddamn booth yeah. for a period of time. For a period of time. I remember I wanted yeah. you. Sometimes you would tell me where you were working. Yeah. I always wanted to see you. I don't think I ever did. No, we met. You met me at met one of after, the stations, yeah. but like upstairs. I think it was like Wall Street. No, we met up in Chinatown. Yeah, that's area. right. That's right. Yeah, remember I went out in my uniform. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I totally remember. Yeah, <laughs> no, I remember. I, I, I tried to I, turn turn my uh jacket inside out so the logo wasn't on. Yeah, there. no, that was exciting <laughs> for me going that. out with you. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I'm take, I'm doing a favor. <laughs> but um, yeah, that I mean, that is so cool yeah. that you. I mean, you started at the at the very bottom. I know. And you worked your way up. Now you work in like the like the main like off. Like yeah, I, a, I work in an administrative office yeah, down yeah. there. I'm still the same title but you know they you don't have to be i don't have to subway. be i'm not in the subway i'm not in a uniform i'm in a regular office basically and also tiffany the, it was the funniest thing <laughs> tiffany told me it was like you know i heard somebody fell on the subway yesterday she's like oh god people fall all the time in the subway <laughs> um chris murphy just texted oh gosh <laughs> this is there so annoying no one ever texts me on tuesdays no. and now today i don't know what's going on but um yeah right um Oh my God! There's a lot of people chatting. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I, Murphy's such an asshole. I, he, he does this all the time, and I'm like, stop it, so I can read the chats. You know, <laughs> uh, it's the it. This reminds me. Weren't people staying over Dave's place this weekend? Oh. No, nobody was uh, staying over. I think. If you're talking about my niece, she's graduating on May 15th. College. She's gonna be a dentist. Oh my god. She's gonna be a doctor. Really. She's a doctor on May 15th. 
story? Yeah. Oh Can you believe that? Oh, my God. Did she learn how to drive yet? <laughs> uh, oh, she drives. Okay, not good. She's the worst okay. driver. Yeah. Well, remember the first day? Well, she's from Jersey. Yeah. Mm. So are you now, okay? I moved so, there. I'm a transplant. Whatever. Yeah. You live in Jersey. <laughs> whatever. So, can't mm -hmm. talk about it that way. Anymore. I'm right through the Lincoln Tunnel, though. You better start so technically, I'm devils. still... Fuck you. <laughs> Did you even watch the... Uh, the game last night no so how can you really like the rangers i don't really care i gotta get rid of this it's like it's one of those things that you like the teams that you grew up but you don't really watch it i'm a girl yeah you know right. sorry you are a girl i like baseball um can you tell us some uh stuff that happened while you're working in the in the subway do you have any like stories? in the booth <laughs> yeah or or wherever do you have any good subway stories <sighs> Um, like really weird ones that nobody knows, especially the, most of these people are from out of town. They don't gosh. live. In, I've been, anonymous I mean, I've been spit on by a homeless guy before yeah, at the Bowery, but I, I mean, who hasn't been spit on? <laughs> oh, uh, Catalina just said, I'm a transplant dude. That was genius. She said, oh, oh thanks. <laughs> She's from Chile. Oh, or Chile. Chile. Oh, mm. yeah. uh, okay. She wants to know what baseball team. Oh, Yankees. Yeah. You can see this on the thing, right? Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Okay. When they, sometimes he puts up. Oh, I can see right yeah, there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sorry. I'm new to this. So. Um, uh, <laughs> she said, Is Dave the only one who picked you up from the booth? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people must have hit on you in that booth. Well, I mean, if yeah. If, I mean, you come there late at night, drunk. Well, you never worked. Late yeah. I've had, I've had people actually say things like, not the way you said it, but like, oh, they hire only ugly people. But I've had people <laughs> say things like, Aren't you too pretty to work? Like they hire people like you here. Yeah. And I'm like, what that does that so even mean? Strange. But I think they meant it in another kind of way. And I was like, mm. Like Jewish? Something. No, I don't know. Something weird. Just the way they what does word. That mean? I, don't I don't know. know. Even like my coworkers, they're like, oh, you know, like <laughs> they're hiring young people. They're hiring I don't know. white people. I like, guess, but it was weird. So I'm that's like, what you kind of meant. I because guess, I was gonna but say it was I didn't even know they hired white oh, women. God. I mean, it's always been black. Women. It's just a it's just a test that you take, and then when your number comes around, depending on your score, you get called off a list. I love what you talking. And that's when it. When your number comes around <laughs> and you get the score, <laughs> I even like I like. How's your mom and dad doing too? They're good. Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah, you know my mom was sick. I did. Yeah. Yes, but so, she's but okay now. She's doing fine. Yeah, yeah she had yeah. a kidney transplant. It's been. Did you give her one of your four years, years now? No, no. She somebody unfortunately. Nice passed away and they no, did an emergency and she was on the list you're looking and, at that the wrong way i know Brittany. you remember my sister Brittany? Yeah. she was about to go in and go get tested for it and really? then like a month later they called my mother in right after oh. christmas actually really I yeah thought, um so my sister would just be like screw everybody <laughs> she's still dating that horrible guy down in orlando or something like um that. horrible <laughs> Well, remember that guy I'm not to watch that this. I wish oh her a happy birthday. Yeah, she's with him, but things are working out now. You know, nice. it is what it is. Who are you? They took a no. They took a break and they're back together. So, like, listen. Well, whatever. Uh, right. What can you do? Yeah, but uh, I mean, did, <laughs> besides people spitting on you, is there any other story you can tell us that would be? I, I didn't the best, bring you okay. on here for that. It's just your. There was girl. a station I was working at, and the elevators weren't working, and now. Do you know those buttons, those emergency buttons, and you speak to like an operator? Yeah. You're actually speaking to someone in one of the booths. Oh. I don't know if people know that. You're not speaking to like a hotline somewhere like to help you or I like not 911. <laughs> no, you're speaking to someone, one of those people. Yeah, that's oh. like your car doesn't work. There's send so it. Here's an envelope. There's nobody in there, too. Exactly. Oh. I mean, <laughs> so, exactly. so I get, so this lady's buzzing, buzzing. It's like, hello, I need, I need the elevator. Like, so I'm like, um, all right. So where are you? I'm, you have to ask like what platform they're on. There's a bunch of questions. I don't know where the F I am. And I'm like, well, are you downstairs by this train or this train? She's like, I'm downstairs by the train. I got to get the F home. I'm like, all right. Is she in a wheelchair? I don't know. She said she couldn't get up the stairs though. And there was no escalator. It was only elevators and they were out. So I was like, do you want me to call police for you to come help you? No, I need to just go home. So I'm like, all right, so this is what I need you to do. I said, you need to go to the next station, get on this train, go to the next station, and then you could transfer over and there's elevators working there. I'm not doing that. You got to come and get, get me. I'm like, I can't like, come and get you. What are you supposed you. to do? So you, what, what you do is you call the emergency. So you hit like an emergency button and that gets you the cops. <laughs> so the cops come and they're like, what's going on? I said, I don't know. This lady's downstairs and she's saying the elevators aren't working. She needs to go home. I guess she sounds like an elderly woman. I'm not sure, but that's what she sounds like. So they leave they come back like 10 minutes later and they're like 
that like the cops are just like uh this lady's crazy <laughs> and we're like i'm like what i'm like well, what do you want me to do they're like do you know when the ele elevators are working <laughs> I'm like no i don't know what what the it's let me when i say the mta what the way people think the mta is run it yeah. literally is it's like no one knows what's going on right, between right. the cops the the managers Pretty everybody obvious. yeah we're all like That's no, no one, it just is ran we don't know how it's run but it's run wow but uh so they left and then i had a supervisor come in they could come in and do like daily checks and this lady was useless too she's just sitting there and the and this lady's constantly buzzing again like <laughs> hitting the button she's like someone better can i curse yeah. Okay, she's like, so I'm gonna fucking come downstairs and get me, otherwise I'm coming up there and I'm fucking somebody up. Like, but so I was like, but you said you can't get up here, so how are you doing that? All of a sudden, <laughs> like someone's banging on my window, just banging, banging, and it's this little old lady. She had to be shorter than me, but all I saw was like a head. She's like, you fucking cunt. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> she's like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? And the supervisor's in there with me and she's pretending like she doesn't know what's going on. I'm looking at her. I'm like, um, what am I supposed to do? She's like, I don't know. <laughs> she like leaves the booth and leaves me there with this late, this crazy lady. And now all these people are on forming on my line now to get a Metro car, but she's in front of them because she wants to curse me out. She's like, I have to fucking go to my doctors now. I missed all my fucking doctors. She's like, I'm blaming you. I need your number. I need your badge number. <laughs> I'm like, it's right there. Just take it. She's like, Oh, you're a smart one, aren't you? Oh, <laughs> like, I'm not anything. I don't know what you wanted. So I was like, you know what? F this lady. So I hit the button again and I called the cops. Like, I was like, just they need to come and get her. This lady got taken out in like strapped into like an ambulance no. and they took her out and brought her to like Bellevue or something. Oh, shit. All because she was just crazy and couldn't like yeah. just she was stressed out. And I get it because what happens is people know one way of getting around and they don't want an alternative especially but, older people but she cursed the shit out of me i didn't expect know, it to be called that give you any information and this is what, this just happened at my building mm -hmm. last week mm -hmm. this drunk girl who lives in the building we were trying to help her the door the cab, taxi cab wouldn't let her go she didn't have her money mm -hmm. so she's staying in the doorman like we're like well wh how much do you owe and she wouldn't tell us and we're like we're trying to help you just tell us she's like i already told them where i live and Thank we're God. like, that doesn't, we're, you're at your house. Yeah. But you're like, yeah, I'm going to call my father. And we're like, so do it. What do you want us to do? Why won't you give us information? You don't seem that drunk. You're giving us nothing to work with. And we were both trying to help. Yeah. Turned out the doorman, I was telling this in my podcast the other day, paid her the cab. You believe this? Because they do this all the time in the city. Folks, if you really? don't know, these doormen, they help women who are drunk all the time and they pay and then I sometimes think I've, i think i've been helped by a doorman drunk before. <laughs> sometimes the women <laughs> yeah. the next day do not pay back they're like what are you talking about i never did that it's it's unbelievably yeah. disrespectful this time the guy got lucky and he's a new doorman he's very nice he's just a kid he works on the weekends mm -hmm. late you know overnight this is all he needs right and he's paying the cab driver 40 dollars out of his own pocket mm -hmm. fortunately her dad called him mm -hmm. Uh, I think that night and Venmoed him a hundred dollars. So that's a good story. Oh, Thank good God. Story. Yeah. But yeah. meanwhile, that girl should not be living in New York City. And she's like, my dad's making me. And I'm Make like, it, huh? Oh, la -di -da. Oh. Do you know where she's from? <laughs> Mars, I think. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, she wouldn't give me information. She kept giving the wrong address to our house. Like it was really, really weird. All right. That's um, weird, yeah. Maybe she didn't want you to follow her. <laughs> Lori, hi, it's <laughs> LW from Edison, New Jersey. Lori, well, of course I must know you. What's the W stand for? Not, I'm thinking of Lisa Weinberg. That's why I'm like, well, hello. Anyway, Lori, uh, my doorman always helps me when I'm drunk, but I always pay him back. Anonymous, exactly. Because, <laughs> uh, exactly. I mean, it's the woman who comes to the door with an empty wine glass. No, not her. Do you remember? I don't know if you remember that lady <laughs> that used empty to. Wine, yeah. She comes to my door with an empty wine glass. Do you have any? <laughs> <laughs> so I remember an old Archie comics uh, where Jughead went around with a bun on a tailgate looking for hot dogs. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> I know. I always thought about. I'm like, that's brilliant. Just I need what? to do that. Yeah. Just, uh, does anybody have any hot dogs? I got a bun here. That's, uh, just begging for. Uh... That actually. So uh, as it is, by the way, um, National Teacher Appreciation Day. Mm -hmm. uh, I just want to say to everybody, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what's going on in the uh, news. As you might know, last night was the Met Gala. So, Mike, if you'll show us the first picture, we have some of that's oh. Naomi Campbell still looking gorgeous. That's Naomi Campbell. That's Naomi wow. Campbell. Um, 
used to have a lot of activity with her many years ago. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go to the next one. These are some of the folks that were there. That's beautiful. Rihanna. She's still pregnant, right? Did she give birth already or? What? Did she just get pregnant? Super Bowl. Well, she was really well, pregnant, though. I that's guess. why I wasn't sure. But I guess that's just, well, Maybe that was she's only January, January or February, February, March, April, May. Um, does anybody know? I, I think she's still pregnant. Whatever she is, she's gorgeous. Yeah, she's, she's still pretty. Stunning. I know. She looks great. Yeah. Uh, there was a big cockroach on the red That's carpet. what everyone was saying. We were talking about that. Yeah, that's kind of funny. <laughs> I didn't take a picture of it because I'm afraid of it. Uh, <laughs> what's the next one? Uh, oh, yeah, that is Janelle Monet. Oh, you know her? I know Janelle Monet. Yeah. Um, well, she's really pretty, too. She's very pretty. I don't know her from any. You know, she's my height. No, she's really short. Oh, she just so, appears like a tall person. So she's wearing this ridiculous thing, but I guess it's just a coat because when she takes it off, if you go to the next picture, yeah. yes, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. She's all right. You know, she looks like that really pretty girl that used to love Urkel on uh, Laura. Oh, the other one, the other one that the one that the, died of cancer. Yes, you know that. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So sad. But what was it? Something with an M, right? Her name was on the show. Myra. 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 Yeah. yeah Myra. She looks like her. Yeah. I could picture her this being her. Yeah. Years from now. She's really cute. I she's like in Knives house. Out. The new Knives That's Out. That's right. Glass She's onion. good. Yes. Yeah. Um, let's move on, Michael. Uh, oh, that's G Giselle Bunchen. The body. Who looks unbelievable. <laughs> I know. And why shouldn't she look her absolute best now? See what happens after the divorce. Exactly. We get better. <laughs> uh, what's next? Oh um, God! Don't you love her? Um, Do you not like that show? I know I like the show. Oh. I don't know if I like her. I think she's it's all put on. The whole uh, weird like. You think so? Yeah. You think she's putting it on because she's playing Wednesday Adams and she just keeps up the performance I, or something? I that's don't. What it I don't like. know. Something's not there. I just there. think she's sexy. She's cute though. And but I, I think that show was brilliant. That show was really good. Yeah, I do she's like that show. really good. Yeah. yeah. It's like I don't like Jennifer Aniston and I love her in Friends. Yeah. And I hate her. In everything else and i think she's a big phone i was just i you know i don't know her or she's anything. the same character and everything that's what i think I people get so angry I when i say that and i used to love her like when i was younger because it's like oh she was brilliant was different friends. but she's just the same thing yeah, yeah, yeah she's yeah. a one-trick pony uh what's the next one mike oh anne I'm, hathaway who everyone hates no she looks great but she looks terrific i know i couldn't believe she that was her when i saw yeah. i was like yeah they just i think she was the like the master of the book, anonymous, always the classic. I wore that to work today. She says that all the time. And it is funny every time. It's one of those things. Uh, what's the last one for this thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, That's Jared, Jared, Le Leto. Jared Leto. Leto? Leto. Yeah, Leto. Leto. And he's dressed as Carl Lagerfeld's cat. Now that's hilarious. That is funny. That is really good. That's really good. What's the, what's the next one? <laughs> that's a weird castle. Oh, oh. What, oh, how did that get in there? Oh, oh is that the <laughs> devil scoring a, a goal last night? I guess. What's the next? You move on to the next one. I'm sorry. I can't. Oh, is oh. that? Oh, oh no. Classic. What, what happened here? Oh. Um, yeah. Mm, uh, right. Anonymous says, my ex-boyfriend also intensely disliked Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, there's nobody's nobody ever says she wasn't brilliant no. in friends and she's stunningly gorgeous yeah but yeah i don't understand why people like her i agree she's the same yeah. and even if she's not the same she's just not interesting no no she's not an interesting no. person she, and i'll yeah. i'll like watch this movie picture perfect sometimes jay moore is in it mm -hmm. um because she's so sexy mm -hmm. so i would watch it just because this but oh you know it's yeah. just like Jay Moore is really good in that movie, and he doesn't, he's not even playing Jay Moore, he's acting. He's actually Jay Moore, acting, yeah. Because Jay Moore is more like his character in uh, the, the Jerry Maguire. That's Jay in Moore. In real life, in I know. In real life. I know. So this was good acting. Yeah. Because he's playing like a, a nice guy. Not, you know? Wasn't that Cousin Paulie? What was that one with, with the bird that he did? You Matthew mean when Paul, he do the act? Man, he was like a bird. I don't know. He was like a parrot. It was something Paulie. It was just called Paulie. It's called Polly, right? Oh, Jay Moore. Yeah, was he was that? in that. Yeah, I, that's that, what I think uh, of that, him. Uh, Scottish guy or something. I don't that... know, but I remember he was something like a parrot. And I remember being like, oh. yeah. right? Okay, that sounds familiar. Yep. Okay, Jay Moore. Jay Moore. Jay Moore. <laughs> well done. Um, oh, thanks. Let's go to the next picture. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you know about this, but apparently King Charles is known to have sausage fingers. Those are his real. I know. Hands. Yeah. You know about that? Yeah, I've seen it. So. Yeah, this, I love having yeah, here's another thing about Tiffany folks. I'll tell you why I like her is because she's got our sense of humor completely and she knows old fashioned stuff. 
I don't know how she knows it. She's too young to know half the stuff, but this is why we like her so much. <laughs> and it's like, you know everything. It's so great talking to you. At least you appreciate Also, <laughs> Tiffany turned me on to love, actually. So. Oh, I turned you on to that. Yeah, you totally. Chris, Chris Murphy again. It's unbelievable. <laughs> um, so, Mike, uh, yeah, go to the next one. So people are saying that somebody got to him and oh. said, put those sausage fingers away. That's so why he's all his new that? pictures. Yeah, look at the next one, too. Is it just one hand? It's just one hand. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, apparently, but that one he put uh, two <laughs> away. I can't stand that guy. Andy. Camila looks happy, though. <laughs> Ugh, what, a, what a bunch of jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, uh, oh, so let's go to the next one. This is great. The, no, nobody knows who this is. Oh, that's the Bud Light lady, right? Like We're, she's the CEO of some yes! sort. Yeah. You are good. I'm look. I'm looking yeah. over. I mean, I said I'm so impressed <laughs> that you know that this is the CEO of Bud. Her name is Elisa Heinerstein, <laughs> and she just got fired because she did the stupidest thing. And I mean, we get where she was trying and everything, but this is the woman that decided to say, "Let's get the trans community to really enjoy Bud Light," and. Fuck the backlash. And she got fired, which is smart because she obviously, even though she was trying, mm -hmm. let's branch out. She clearly didn't know the product yeah. and yeah. doesn't know who's buying Bud Light. I, I mean, it's like weird because she shouldn't get fired because she, she was trying this yeah. thing that could bring in a whole other people. This woman had 10 million yeah. followers or something. Yeah. But you got to get fired because you got, hey, you got to know your audience, man. Not, if you come in. But Anheuser Busch owns a bunch of different kinds of beers. Why go for the main one that's for like, well, people first that, of all, like a NASCAR people and just who like, the fuck likes Bud Light? I, I like Bud Weiser. Bud Weiser, yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't, I drink yeah. cans of Bud beer. Everybody yeah. knows this. Mm -hmm. I don't know why people would like a worse version of Bud Weiser. It's like the guys I know drink Bud Light mm -hmm. and Coors Light. And I want regular. I mean, are they drinking it because it's less fattening? I mean, That's the guys that we see drinking that doesn't <laughs> seem like they would give a shit. <laughs> and if you're drinking Budweiser, you might as well just have Budweiser. Budweiser. What do you need to be light for? Anyway, it's this gross. lady. So, so um, right. Bud Light, Bud Light sales dropped 21%. Oh. If you go to the next picture, Mike, this is the woman. She's trans. Now, that's a good trans person. It's like, because I didn't know she was trans until she started talking. Um, you know what I like? I like Bud Light. <laughs> but, I mean, she's gorgeous. I would never know she was yeah. trans. And I don't even give a shit. Obviously, don't we don't know. live in middle America where no. people are this enraged where they're shooting up a Bud Light. I'll never drink Bud Light again. <laughs> but seriously, I mean, we, we all know who drinks Bud Light. I mean, Nice try, but boy, a hit and miss. Yeah. This will be up there with like um new coke and new stuff like legendary <laughs> misfires. Gross. You know, yeah. Bill Cosby, like it's better. Yeah, Sprite remix, I think it <laughs> Let was. Let alone having Bill Cosby be the sponsor for Coke, like the misfires that you know come up 40 years later when um when it pops. the first who came up with the idea is probably dead. But at least a <laughs> <laughs> um her name is Dylan Mulvaney, this one, and um, okay. she's not in trouble. No, why would she? She be? tried. I just don't see trans pe trans people seem like more fun, like they would like a better beer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, not that. They're like, well, I've done this for myself. I might as well enjoy the rest of my life by having, <laughs> but not just piss. <laughs> I mean, the other countries are got to be laughing at us when we drink Bud Light in general. Yeah. Because you know, it's disgusting. Go to go to London and ask for a bud. I dare you. You know, they'll just be angry. But you know what? When I get tourists, they always ask for bud or bud light. It's like a thing here. Oh, because they're in America. Because America. So it's like, oh, I'm well, going to have that. You want the, uh, bud light. <laughs> yeah. They, uh, like, It'd uh, be like uh, going to Ireland and be like, I want a Guinness. But, you well, know. That's exactly what I did. Yeah, exactly. They get so upset about, Catalina says, about a beer, but the rest are the sensitive ones. I don't know what she's. I don't know what that means. Okay. Oh, she's a child. She's a child. no. She's like kid, uh, kid rocking them. They say they're called oh. snowflakes, but they're the ones. Oh, they're here. sensitive too. Yeah, both sides are just oh, annoying yeah. now. Well, kid rock's insane. He first of all, he should not be having an autumn. What does he need an automatic rifle for? That's what's even more fucked up. The fact that he has one of those. <laughs> I mean, nobody needs those. That's the problem with gun control. You know, it's like nobody cares. Like, buy your handguns. No. Who's buying it? What do you need an automatic <laughs> rifle? Let's just stop anybody that's buying an automatic I rifle. Don't. Why do you need an automatic rifle? You don't use it for hunting. Hunting, no. You don't use it. For, you just need it for what? For what? Yeah. Um, 
let's stop. I'm not telling people they can't have a gun in the house. Because it's their rights. That's how they like. That's how they think. Everything's not right. It's like who cares? I know. Uh, oh, speaking of this uh, situation, you to keep this guy out of their yard. <laughs> <laughs> That's happened to me before. Oh, you're talking about King Charles or me? Shoot those fingers. <laughs> right. so you're talking about me. Either or, depending where you live. Camille's trans, right? Or uh, okay, you no? Know? Um, all right, we'll go to the next one. The, uh, okay, so this one in the middle is uh, Austin Killips. That's a trans person, okay. and. Uh, she, the, this woman hannah arendsman just quit cycling because she can't take it anymore because if you go to the next one okay. uh those two on the are men it, on the outsides are trans okay. and they keep winning because they're men i know and and women's it, sports yes it's driving me it's, insane it's driving you insane i've had this conversation recently and it's and it's no, it sucks when you talk about it. You sound like you're the bad person yeah, talking about it, but yeah. it's like no, it's because a woman made a an argument. She's like, I my whole life I'm a woman, and from when I was a child to now, all I wanted to do was play this one sport and be great at it. And it's hard for women's sports to even of course, recognize that's, it, that's and that's all I did. And then a, a boy that okay that becomes that transitions becomes a woman who's trained as a boy his whole life gets to just come in and take over and the sport and, and be dominant because you're going to yeah. dominate it because it's gen, it's, it's a genetic brilliant thing. in yeah. many ways it is very if brilliant you it's aren't actually, actually didn't want to be trans but you just want to win it's like some, an 80s movie <laughs> prize money that's why this girl quit she was like um she got she get she was winning this prize money and now she's not getting it anymore and she's like i can't take it anymore this is ridiculous and she i guess making a statement by retiring because <sighs> it just gets her sad when these men are beating her and they are completely men uh if you go to number 16 i mean look at this one this is another cyclist who yeah. beat her i mean do you think they do it it's uh like because they can't dominate in the male sport yeah. so they're like actually by going in the woods yeah. well i was thinking about <laughs> doing this maybe because i'm sure i could beat a couple of chicks riding yeah. a bike please <laughs> well look at this next one this is this is a woman tiffany thomas okay. I mean, didn't you used to do this i, I so for a period of time weren't you oh like i was lifting? going to i was going to crossfit and i was doing like lifting yeah, yeah there's a bunch of pictures yeah of that scared yeah. the hell out of me Why? i don't care for that with the women doing that i don't Not care to get like this though well that's i was nervous i just wanted because my be sister strong. has a friend who was like doing it and it's weird Women doing that, it's well, like weird. Well, I wasn't trying reason. to be a power lift. I was doing CrossFit, so you, those are the type of movies. Well, you you look great. Well, thanks. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm just doing regular gym. I know, I'm but cool. I just didn't like it. I didn't like it. <laughs> oh I don't want God. any girl I know. No. Catalina says, I'll get you a real beer, Mike, one of these days. Because <laughs> um, she's from Chile. Oh, I guess they have real beer there. I don't know. Yeah, I went to Ireland. Do you know I went to Ireland with Jeff Ross? No. Did I tell you that? No. So I we when we saw remember, I saw you that day when that girl was doing comedy down the street. Yes, I saw yeah. You oh yeah. And your, the birthday girl, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, yeah. Um and but I couldn't stop talking because I was so excited to see I you. I know that poor woman was really upset. I felt horrible yeah. because I was there to see her and yeah. but I hadn't seen you in so long. Yeah. And I only met her once and I never get to see you and felt we had so much to catch up on mm -hmm. and it was so unfortunate. I felt, I mean, these people all know I, I can't stop talking Yeah, and you were working yeah. and I, you were probably just being polite to me because <laughs> I was going crazy. Like, no, I wasn't being like, polite. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Like, I, it was just so much to <laughs> yeah, say. Nothing we were, yeah, nothing made sense. We were just yapping away. I know. Yeah. And I was in the middle of working. Oh, oh. wow. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. Similar. Myra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, she yeah. loves Steve though. I know. I remember she was as obsessed Steve. with him as he was yeah, with Laura. I loved that. I know. Really made me happy. Yeah. And it was kind of a turn on. Oh. <laughs> what? What I say? Oh, that's what the, I? Uh, that's the Dave shouldn't say that alarm. <laughs> 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 There's a part coming through. <laughs> um. Well, what what time is it? Uh, we have twenty five oh, minutes. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Um. All right, then let's um. Do the slides, I guess, right? All right, this is all the stuff I work on for weeks. Oh, okay. I mean, uh, weeks, weeks and weeks. Yeah, nerd. but it's fun. <laughs> What'd you call me? Nerd. I thought, no, my trick ear was by my. They called me a nerd. Uh, yeah, I am. So what? <laughs> Speaking of nerds, uh, <laughs> there's uh, the president of the United States coming down the staircase for the dinner with the president of South Korea. 
But you notice those staircases? You know the first thing I thought of? I'm glad you're here because you're the only reason I know this. You know the next slide, Mike? <laughs> little Love Actually action. It is Tiffany actually. was the one. She's like, you've never seen Love Actually? And believe me, it's it's sad when you teach a course on Clueless that I had, that it, Tiffany was the one who told me, you got to see Love Actually. Exactly. I'm like, really? Is it good? And now I worship it. And that direct, I mean, he's my favorite director. I, I did an entire class of Richard Curtis movies. Really? Like I, during the Clueless thing, I was talking about writing and I said, yeah. this Richard Curtis is unbelievable. You know, he did this and Notting Hill and I made I them watch Notting Hill. They yeah. hated it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they hated it so much that really? I had them write, why did you hate it? And then they turned me around. No, oh, I don't like, like I hate this. <laughs> I'm like, God damn it. You're making some good points. <laughs> you swayed the teacher. You all get A's. Except for this one kid, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's probably on the spectrum. You know, oh anyway, kids, kids. <laughs> uh, so the next one, <laughs> that picture. well, that's why Catalina and I get along. She loves love, actually. Yeah. So this is the dinner for the South Korean president. <laughs> and they were doing karaoke. Oh, now, this looks like, can you imagine being invited to the White House and it's a good time like this? <laughs> You know, Trump didn't have good times like this. No. Um, so the South Korean president is doing karaoke. And guess what he's singing? Country Road. American Pie. Oh, oh of course. So they're all like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. USA, <laughs> USA. Uh, but that's awesome, right? That's Remember, Obama would have fun times like this in yeah. the White House. And I mean, I don't care who the president is. You just want to see a good time once in a while, and they deserve it. And I don't know. <laughs> I mean, JFK used to have fun like this. We just don't know about it because we didn't have. Well, he had too much fun. Too much fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I I don't know. Even Lyndon Johnson had a couple of laughs. <laughs> yeah, Lyndon Johnson would just pee on the lawn. Yeah, he was out of his mind. He would pee on the lawn. He'd have meetings in the bathroom. Oh, I would have got along with him. He would be in the stall and giving. A, he's like, yeah, we got to bomb Cuba. And I'm not just saying that because I'm making a duty. Uh, they're obsessed with American Pie in Europe, but they only know the Madonna version and not the original version. Oh, gross! Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. Um, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> uh, let's go to the next one. What is the next one? Oh yeah, that's his new security. <laughs> but he's quitting because they think they're jumping off the bandwagon because they think he's running for office and he's totally going to lose because he's a hundred. It looks like Hawk Jones. Who's Hawk Jones? Hawk Jones is a movie a cop buddy cop movie filmed with all kids it <laughs> is how have i never seen that it's I insane uh, it's great it sounds uh, like a dream I yeah hawk, <laughs> hawk, hawk jones hawk like the bird oh hawk jones hawk. oh, oh hawk. Hawk. i thought hawk. you said hop jones yeah, and that jones. was a chinese restaurant i used to go to <laughs> oh, well, wow. chinese american uh <laughs> hop jones uh i just i love this picture and uh i don't understand it i don't it, understand it either but um i love every minute of it They're all in classes. <laughs> and i used to Why dress like classes, i dressed like this for halloween a couple times because it was so easy i just put on a suit jacket and glasses and i, and I had a, like a, just an earpiece before people had normal earpiece but i had the the accordion earpiece the okay. good kind yeah and it went to nowhere and i i was just playing the part i'm like i gotta so I, I remember because we were at a big party and i would talk to a girl and i'm like can I get you something to drink? And they're like, I'm good. And I'm like, she says, she's good. Uh, and then I was, it was a good way to leave. Um, she dodged uh, someday the bullet. I'll tell everybody what happened at the end of that party. But not today. That's for another show. And it's a good one, too. Uh, yeah, what's the next one? Well, let me show oh, this real quick. Hop Jones. Hawk Jones. Yeah. Tony Hawk Jones. Mike is the best at getting. Whoa. What How have I not seen here? that? Is... That's hilarious. <laughs> What? What is this from? Oh, it's from the 80s? Oh, my God. Is this the kind of attraction? Is this the trailer? I need to be high and watch this show. Someone's filming This looks exactly like the <laughs> It's filmed on video. It's like Bugs Bunny. It's from Hong Kong. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my Yes, That's why you're gonna play on these kids. <laughs> like, wow, well, why? I don't know. <laughs> oh, how Look at I, this kid. Oh my god. This is like Lancelot Link without Oh my god. Did she say about Tiffany? She knows all that. How could she possibly know about Lancelot? But I don't know about Lancelot. Oh my yeah. god. It was the best and the worst. Lari Hari. It would not have been a half hour long. <laughs> 
Oh my God, that's funny. And if that one, <laughs> got it, if that one guy is a lieutenant and he's this putting Alka Seltzer a- in his thing, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen. I'm literally gonna go home and watch that. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, I, there's not enough pot in the world that's uh, gonna work. <laughs> I think from that, that's perfect. Oh. Right, Marcy, kids with guns. What's wrong with it? But uh, in the '80s, <laughs> that was perfectly fine. Oh, I and mean, they're playing adult cops and, as kids. It's it's insane movie. Yeah, come on, Marcy, get with the program. And uh, it's all played for laughs. Dude. No one's like, I'm going to need some major weed for that. And <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to do it, but um, I want to do it tonight. <laughs> um, I think that's this weekend. Hawk Jones. Hawk Jones. There's got to be a way to see it. Can't believe Angela it. says this has not aged well. <laughs> <laughs> Um, like many things <laughs> yeah it was made back when shooting kids was funny <laughs> yes it used to be hilarious yeah, they're like say no to drugs but yes to guns <laughs> yeah. meanwhile if all those kids were packed the way they were there wouldn't be school shooting oh. so mm. there's a thing to, and if these kids were running the security outside you know i think you know if we put these two pic- this picture and that movie together i think we'd have a, more of a safe uh all right, this ain't the lost boys <laughs> <laughs> all right go to the next one Ah, uh, yes. That's, I believe, the guy who invented modern-day turkey or something. Uh, so they have a flag of him, but it looked to me like the next photo, which was um, Ray Fiennes in uh, Made in Manhattan as uh, Christopher Marshall. Yeah. It, it looked like the big poster of him. It does. Go to the next one. Look just like yeah. him. Yeah. Doesn't that look like the, the, the president of modern-day turkey? <laughs> oh the guy who invented turkey? Turkey. I don't know. I don't know. He exactly. invented turkey? He invented what, what, however they're modern. I don't know. He bought them into the new age, I guess. Oh Are like they, that. though? No. No. Like. Well, that's why they're so. That's why they're idiots. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. They, <laughs> that's why you can get your hair done there for like only $3,000 instead yeah. of 15000 And I think you had a nose job there, too. You can get a lot of a stuff, stuff for $3,000. Yeah, new teeth. You know, what if we offered... <laughs> A discount on hair plugs. I mean, it's not a horrible Hard. idea to know to go there for Turkey. And I've known people that have done it. I know someone that actually went there and has hair plugs. Oh, you Turkey. do? Yeah. I was afraid to do it as a Hebrew. Oh. I don't know why. I just oh. panic going anywhere else being and, Jewish. Oh, okay. I mean. Fortunately, it doesn't say David Juskowitz on my passport. So, but I I don't think I can pass for anything else. I think there was a. No, nah, I've always been Jewy. Um, <laughs> what's the next picture? Ah, yes. This is in, where is this? Israel? Yeah, this was after the end of Ramadan, and they're throwing children's games in the air. For what? The end of Ramadan. But it's like one game to one girl, and those games look like they're, go to the next one. Those games look like they're what you get from the turnpike in the 70s. (laughs) Yeah. You know, obviously the yes and no book, which is they were still making those brilliant. when I was a kid. They're not making them anymore because I just once I saw them, I'm like, now I want one. one yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then the next one, they weren't making these. The McGillicola. <laughs> <Magilla. laughs> uh, this is what my grandmother used to get us from the puzzle. turnpike. And I went looking for a gift on the turnpike, but they just don't have these great gifts on the is turnpike. Is this your personal uh, toy? That looks no. like you took that picture. <laughs> no, I this is my personal one. The next one. Um, What's the dog on the the sheriff dog from? That's um oh, the guy from uh, from Howard Stern. Uh, Quick Draw McGraw Don't and no, Baba that. Booey. Baba Fooey. No, that's a dog. Oh, it's not. not? Oh, McGraw. I just assume it's from that same. Uh, There's a cat from like Chattanooga Cats, I think. But... Oh well, I don't know. So, I'll look it up. That's yeah. yeah you probably should. I have the, I had that. Everybody. Has. Yeah. Didn't you? Your ex husband looks like that. No. Yeah, except he had like a beard. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can put it on him. You can make him look exactly like him. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, those are the the gifts we my so grandmother used to get me from. The, you know, like let's get something for the kids. You stop off at the Jersey Turnpike rest area. That's what you would get. That's uh, what we'd get. Uh, and quite frankly, we loved, loved them. <laughs> yeah. That's the weird part. Like these little gifts were like great. Yeah. I mean, these were cre- when there was no internet. There's you nothing else that was movie. yeah. We had the toys, these water toys that you like click, and the rings would go on to things. Oh but yeah, I, I love those, those. But that was like the early nineties. Yeah, yeah. I still, I had those. Yeah. I have, I have all the toys from every century. <laughs> uh, the name was Droopalong. And lunchbox. Was it Droopalong? Droopalong. That, that wasn't Droopalong. Droopalong. Yeah, it's just. Well, I'll show it later. But... Okay. Something. Oh right, I'm thinking of Huckleberry Hound. <laughs> that was Chewbacca. Yeah. Well, that's a guy who was their costumes. And he was at a, a show like a like a you know one of those Javits Center shows. Okay, yeah. And he's just putting him in the car to go home. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so he can use the carpool lane, obviously. 
<laughs> I wonder Genius. if that would work. If a cop pulled you over for you, you should take a chance on that and see if the cop has coupled? a sense yeah. of humor. Because yeah. what would be the worst that could happen? <laughs> uh, sir, I don't understand. What is the problem? <laughs> I, have, uh, I don't think anybody would be upset with you for driving in the the, uh, <laughs> the, the hover lane or whatever it's called, the That's HOV great. lane. Uh, what's the next picture, Michael? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what's happening here? People Listen, we, yeah, people go work. We we watch these videos. Do. Oh, you do at my job all the time and <laughs> laugh our ass off. Right, because right, you're like, how dare <laughs> people say we suck when this is how these people are commuting to work? No, but there's a lady in my office that used to work in my office, and she's from India. And we used to like, and we used to call Miss P because her name's really long. We'd be like, Miss P, what the hell is this about? She's like, oh, I don't know. I'm like, you know. <laughs> And she gets, they, but she would say, that's just how it is. I'm like, that's how it is. But she would say how crazy New York is. I'm like, uh-uh, you're not going to yeah. say New York commutes are crazy I, when this happens. My boss commutes yeah. every day on a train. And she goes, <laughs> and I showed her this picture today and she goes, oh, maybe I should shut up. Yeah. I was worried about getting a seat. They get on the top of those trains too. Oh my like, God. Like, and like hold on for Do you think life. there's two, you think they should uh, invest in condoms in this place? Maybe. Uh, it's sad, but that's third world living. Mm. Is it? I, oy, right? It's just. It's so. It's why are their kids going to work? That's the other question. And well, why I mean, isn't one of them carrying a newspaper? That would be hilarious. <laughs> I should have photoshopped that. You I'm a jackass. That would have been the most hilarious uh, of all things. Maybe I'll just tweet that tomorrow. People will be like, "That's me," and I'm like, "But I didn't create this photo." Um, what's the next one? Oh, so that is uh, migrants on the way to Mexico. Okay. But from where? That's a good question. I have no idea. <laughs> but you see where it is. Mm -hmm. Go to the next one, Mike. From Love Actually again. <laughs> I feel like they're going down that same street. Donut, they're gonna... This Dunkin' Donut 2003. Yeah, can you imagine saying that now? <laughs> I know. Shut up, this she... Dunkin'. Hey, shut up, you fatso. You yeah. Know? And she... yeah, I know. <laughs> And this is like a beloved movie. Yeah, no. you know, yeah. People I'm are positive. <laughs> you know, it was Sarah Silverman who told me how misogynistic, I guess it was the word, uh, or and sexist for this movie is. Um, it never occurred to me yeah, when is. I'm watching because it is a fantasy. I mean, that guy who goes to Wisconsin yeah. and those girls end up not stealing is yeah. what you think yeah. something's going to happen. that like, girl overweight. We're like, she's not even fat. Oh, my God. Right. That, <laughs> like, you like, mean the one with the chubby thighs? <laughs> right. <laughs> well, there's a lot of cellulite on those thighs, I think. The chubby girl. Chubby girl. Would we say? <laughs> That's my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh my god yeah, the, the, is, but... um the fact that um they're trying to get that kid laid uh there's a you <laughs> there's know so just much um, going on. there's so much wrong with it yeah. in today's alan rickman's she is oh right right <laughs> of course the classic <laughs> well that's me. my favorite line that they even use in family guy like to continue your emotional education <laughs> like it's the worst the most it's the most horrible. I put it on all my Christmas cards now. Yeah. <laughs> Continue your emotional education. You know, we did love actually here. Uh, did you come to see it? No. Oh, you did we like the readings? readings? No. We had um, Mike Bichetti play the uh, the guy at the uh, thing. Would you like a gift wrap, sir? <laughs> <laughs> He was, Mr. Bean. Be Harry? What? he was Mr. Bean. Yeah. Oh yeah, my God. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Yeah. He was awful. That's really funny. <laughs> but we didn't That's expect really anything funny. different. He goes, would, would you like a gift wrap? <laughs> I should probably have him as a guest on the show. Were you pissed during the pandemic when those celebrities were all doing those readings on like Zoom? Oh, and that's kind of um, like your thing. <laughs> I know. I was a little upset, but how can you be upset? It was also great. Yeah. But like when they did the Fast Times one, I mean, they were horrible. They were, it's like they yeah. just didn't put their all into yeah. it. And that's what bothered me. Just like they're like, hey, fuck it. Like it's, this doesn't mean a lot yeah. to anybody. Hey, Jen. Hey, we're Brad. Like, yeah, right. Like, get into character. Horrible casting. Yeah. Too. No. Oh, it, it that that's what made me mad. Yeah. Not the fact that they were doing it. Uh, really, Catalina? Because I, I hate <laughs> Joni Mitchell from this movie. It's like the saddest scene. I'm like, it goes way too long. I mean, it just is awful. He cut out this whole thing. See, there's that same, that that's cyclist the, going up the hill, but it's not. That's in uh, Belgium. Oh. They just all look the same, these, these places, these oh. little hill towns or something. I know. Ooh. Oof. And that is, um, what is it? A foot race in the Sahara Desert. Desert? They say it's the worst Sahara. or the hardest, you know, race. race in all the world. It's okay. a, it's like an eight day race. What's the race to a desert. 
weirdos. It's cold that at love night. Shit like that. Yeah, I don't that, know. I know. Those are people like people I want to climb Mount Everest and all exactly. that. Like you're weird. Yeah. You want to practice dying. Yeah. Exactly. Why would you want to do that when there's so much good TV on? It just doesn't make any sense. You won't even finish everything in your lifetime. When you can get high and to- watch TV and order in, <sighs> this is stupid. <laughs> losers <laughs> yeah. uh, that's so, you <laughs> no well it has been this is at a german soccer match i thought it was like a protest but it's just a guy after the halftime show oh. <laughs> that's why i like it that's great and then it reminded me of and mike i can't believe we never talked about this before <laughs> this is the 1995 super bowl halftime show oh my gosh. which was an indiana jones, jones and the temple right. of doom ripoff called if you go to the next one oh indiana jones and the forbidden eye oh okay i was and, thinking of that and, other series that they had that was like indiana jones remember that movie young indiana jones no it was oh alan uh, quarterman alan quarterman yeah yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah no so this is Indiana Jones. This is a 95 halftime fucking Super Bowl show. The legendary San Francisco 49ers. I guess that's why I don't remember because I was drunk <laughs> and I bet everything on the 49ers and they killed the charge. It was beautiful. They totally that covered was, at 18 points. That spread. was Jerry Rice. Yes, Jerry Rice mm-hmm. and uh uh, young Steve Young, Steve Young, yeah, yep. and they beat the shit out of him, and it yeah. was awesome. Yeah. They covered everything, the over, <laughs> the spread. I won like everything that day. So by half, <laughs> and it was already like twenty-eight to three uh-huh. at halftime. So I was like, yeah. And normally that doesn't work out for me. It would be like that Tom Brady game where they came back from twenty-eight to three. Yeah, like like, ah. half like ah. <laughs> I don't remember this, but it's they have it online. It's uh, awful. Is it? It's like, it, and they're trying to steal the Super Bowl trophy or get with the oh. bowl of ram has the super bowl trophy it's goddamn awful it's an embarrassment and you thought <laughs> up with people was bad this was even worse and i i just and i just think about all the smoke this? this is the um prison rodeo in louisiana Wait, what? yeah this oh. is the funniest thing i've ever heard of okay. it's a, a prison rodeo. so all these prisoners get beaten up by uh whatever they use in rodeos bulls i guess go to the next yeah. one mike this is prison convict or convict prison. Okay. No, convict poker. poker. Oh, okay. convict poker. They sit there in the poker until the bull comes out and knocks them all. Look at the next picture. What? Until the bull just comes over and knocks over their table and cards. Okay. That's the plan. That's the plan. Okay. <laughs> That's it. They just sit there playing poker. La di da da. And then, and now I don't know what they get for putting. I mean, I hope they get a pardon or a pass because. What I can't believe we're still doing this to prisoners in this day and age. <laughs> so look at this next one. This is and when you go, you bring your family. Look, it says the food was good. I like the shrimp, poor boy. Was it and like gladiator? Boy, I, <laughs> like I know. Bring, it's, your, family bring your family and kids. Oh, the food was good. And shrimp, like, poor boy. And what about the, <laughs> the, the, the last feet. one? The staff was very unpleasant. Ooh, they have a- <laughs> The staff is like, staff I can't believe I'm working. The I'm working the goddamn prison rodeo again. The staff is very unprofessional. Isn't, isn't very unprofessional. Is that what it says? Can you fucking believe that? Isn't I that the can't. funniest thing you've ever seen? I did not make that up. And I've been to Louisiana a bunch of times. You know, New Orleans. I would have probably went to this if I would have known just to uh, see it. It's a family that's... event. And that's those guys making a break for it. I just caught that. Uh, I was lucky to. This is the most obvious thing there is, is yeah. that uh, there would be a prison break. <laughs> of course. And uh, yeah, what's what the, the next hell? one? Uh, oh yeah, so this guy, his name is Brent Hines. He's from this group called Mastodon. They're great. Oh, Mastodon. Oh, you I've, heard, I've heard of them. My uncle only listens to them. But... Mike, he's like they're great. Yeah. You really know their stuff? I just listened to it. it. Sounds basic heavy metal to me. I like it. If you like Clutch or stuff like that, I don't. So um, <laughs> I. <laughs> Meg, you know I like Huey Lewis and only Huey Lewis. If you forever. like the news, but not Huey Lewis. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this guy had a quote that said, I did a lot of tours I didn't want to do, though, like Disturbed and all that mayhem, stupid bullshit. So you know about those, right, Mike? Yeah. Yeah. And he goes, gay ass shit. You got to <laughs> fucking open up for Disturbed. You got to play with people that like Disturbed. And so right. the LGBTQ, the LGBTQ community is furious they said gay as shit and this writer who likes metal said uh he was a supporter of the band and he's like well you know what i think that's really rude i mean what are you (laughs) expecting from this guy are you fucking kidding me this is like the bud light thing all over again this guy's not gonna say some gay ass shit which quite frankly 
Who gives a shit? What is the matter with who is this LGBTQ guy who loves this music? <laughs> this I don't understand. People are insane. It's driving me crazy. Meanwhile, this looks like the greatest show that anybody's ever been to. That guy's rocking. <laughs> I would go see that yeah, show. Yeah. In his pants. I know. He what? His guitar is in his like top of his pants. It is. Yeah. You don't notice it's under his like his belt. No. Wow. Don't He's you think bad. like rock? and gay goes hand in hand almost you know what right why are they priest? wearing those tight the pants queen. and everything yeah yeah and always it was gay ass shit i mean i they wear leather hate that i can't <laughs> i use mean the word gay thing. not as gay i know i'm like that sounds gay i, I say that all the time but yeah but oh. that's like the r word i used to, I, I still have a hard time retard yeah i love you I, I still i still drop it all the time i can't help it i yeah yeah I, we have four minutes yeah oh, oh. <laughs> why did, did somebody coming in today yeah no we oh, got is that right yeah we got oh, canceled. Uh, <laughs> who's coming in? Bobby. Oh, okay. So I'm um, doing the show. Oh, you are? Okay. So let's go on. Oh, that's why you were going. All right. Let's go on. Oh, Speaking that? of gay ass shit. That, <laughs> that was the gag for that one. So yeah, uh, go on. Yeah, what is that? Uh, oh, yeah. You can, this, yeah, this is in Italy. It's a, an art exhibit. So go on to the next one. And see what it is. It's kind of cool. So let's be right. And I'm trying to figure out how they, so go to the next one. And then you have like all these people on. I'm like, wait, what's what? going on here? Okay. And then if the next one, I finally figured it out. It's a mirror. Oh. I had no idea. It's only until I saw That's that really photo. Cool. Isn't that cool? That's awesome. Isn't that fun to take a picture with? Yeah. Except those idiots who are standing right there. So then it ruins the effect. Like the <laughs> ones. Right but yeah, it looks so cool. I would like. I would That's love really to take a picture cool. like that. Yeah. Go to the next one. Oh God, this guy won the. Uh, uh, the open Barcelona Open. His name is Carlos Alvarez, I think. Okay. And apparently, this is the tradition: you jump in the pool, followed by a bunch of screaming ball girls. Oh, well, it's my new that. favorite act. <laughs> That's why I'm thinking of winning the Barcelona Open. Just so go to the next That's one. Then you look at him fly through. The, that's kind of cool, right? <laughs> it's like a like a Beatles uh, thing going. And then look at the next one. Look how look how happy he is. He's like, uh, yeah. and then yeah. you realize they're twelve. Yeah. They oh, they got braces. Yeah. Because at first I was like, this is so hot. Still and your then dream. And I saw the braces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. No, no. <laughs> and everyone knows it. Uh, go to the next one, please. Oh, right. This is um. This is Greece. <laughs> no, this is uh like an old fashioned car race in oh, uh, England. That's cool. So then I was saying at the next one, that do you know what that is? That's the car that wins the Grand Prix in the next picture. Little rascal. Because it turns into Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Oh. So it gets, explodes, <laughs> and then Dick Van Dyke makes it into that. And that's what I would race. I I would get if I was rich, I would buy, buy that, that car and race it. In England at that thing. Singing those chitty chitty bang bangs. That's right. <laughs> Go on. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, and, that's uh, cool. Well, that guy's just. That guy was just that's cool. the guy who's going to catch those prison break people. Uh, and in fact, you could catch that guy that's on the lamb right now with that. That guy would terrify me and put me back to jail. Go on. <laughs> uh, that's a camel who doesn't appreciate a sunset. What's the next one? Uh, that's Ed Sheeran is going to jail for jail of Marvin Gaye. Stupid... Yeah, <laughs> that, why Marvin is Gaye, Marvin Gaye doing <laughs> right? His estate just hates everybody. Yeah, what an asshole! Like everyone's taking my song. Yeah. They're dead. I hope he. His loses. family's grieving. But then I heard the song, and uh, they do have a case. Uh, what's the next um, one? <laughs> they do. Oh, that's case. the Aurora Borealis in New Zealand, right? But if you go to the next one, Mike, that's in Indiana. Apparently, somebody you said you it? could see it in New York this past week. Ah. Not here in the city, probably, what? but. For some reason, it's all over the place. Oh. And then the next one, Mike, of course, you know. <laughs> there are very Isles. At this time of the year, at this time of day. Can I see it? <laughs> uh, I think, is that it? Oh, no. Then this last one was, that's the new building they built, for those of you who have been listening to my podcast, right next door to my house. Oh, that now it? blocks my view. Are you view. serious? Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God. I'm like, They're trying to get you out of this so bad. It's so fucking annoying. I'm like, we can't like, get can you out. fucking believe it? It's like a fuck you to me. Like it's just, just like, you. I live right on that block. Uh, God, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is our show for today. We got to wrap up. Oh my God, Tiffany, this has been so much fun. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, do you know why you're here? I'm not a hundred percent sure. I said to Mike, I said, and the audience, I said, let's just have hot girls on. Oh, thanks. So, uh -huh. You're welcome. Wow. Uh, but <laughs> Tiffany, as you can see, is kind of a joy. She knows all the, I mean, where, I don't know how old you are, but I know when I met you, you were really young. Yeah. And the fact that, you know, Lancelot Link, I mean, <laughs> this is why I fell in love with Tiffany 
and she's so cool and <laughs> wonderful and still yeah. a really good friend. Rocking and, and rolling. <laughs> and <whatnot. laughs> uh, so yeah, Tiffany's the uh, best. And uh, everybody, uh, just uh, thank you for coming next week. Uh, we'll be here again. I don't know who the guest will be, but it'll be somebody awesome like Tiffany, maybe even Tiffany again. Because oh. I feel like we didn't get enough with you. No. And um, on Billy Joel A to Z, we have the use wrap up. I see why nobody's listening to that show. <laughs> and because uh, we go by letters. Yeah. This week, the Wait use me. wrap up. Wait me on that uh, Billy Joel one. Why? Do you like Billy Joel? That was my first crush. Oh, well, this might be good. We yeah. need a guest for this one. <laughs> uh, Mike, where are you going to be? Uh, tonight I'll be at the Fat Black Pussycat with Bobby Kelly. Oh, to, oh uh, you're doing the show show. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. You and, should have told me. In advance. Oh, we were busy <laughs> taking care of the other issue. Okay. Um, but I'm not hosting it, so I can be a little bit. Okay, Mike. Yeah, like, I'm so cool. sorry. So Mike's performing tonight. Remember, get your ass down to the Comedy Cellar. See what's happening. Yeah. And uh, otherwise, we'll be. we'll see you next week on the Comedy Cellar Nightly Show. Good night, everybody.